Space technologies and inventions are revolutionizing our future by unlocking new possibilities for exploration, communication, and sustainability. Cutting-edge advancements like reusable rockets, innovative spacecraft, and smart satellites are making space more accessible and affordable. These breakthroughs not only enable deeper scientific discoveries, but also drive economic growth and improve life on Earth. As the space industry evolves rapidly, these technologies will play a crucial role in shaping global connectivity, environmental monitoring, and human presence beyond our planet. Dassault Vortex Dassault Aviation has unveiled Vortex, a fully reusable orbital spaceplane concept merging jet-like runway operations with advanced orbital maneuvering. Equipped with a spacious payload bay, it is intended for satellite deployment, cargo transport, space station resupply, and on-orbit servicing. Its development will follow four phases. Vortex-D, a one-third scale re-entry demonstrator. Vortex-S, a two-thirds smart free flyer. Vortex-C, the full-scale cargo model. And Vortex-M, a crewed version. Each stage will rigorously test hypersonic flight control, thermal protection systems, and mission adaptability before operational service. Backed by France's Ministry of the Armed Forces and developed with the European Space Agency, Vortex aims to strengthen Europe's strategic autonomy in space access. Its versatile design supports both civil and defence applications while advancing scientific opportunities. By combining aviation-grade aerodynamics with orbital capability, Vortex offers a scalable, efficient and reusable bridge from Earth's runways to space, potentially redefining how Europe approaches space transportation and extending its reach into the next frontier. Radian 1 Radian 1 is positioned to debut as the first fully reusable single-stage-to-orbit spaceplane, offering space access with the efficiency and convenience of conventional aircraft. Designed for horizontal launch and landing, it uses a rocket-powered sled on a two-mile track to reach Mach 0.7 before ignition, conserving onboard fuel for ascent. Its delta wing design generates aerodynamic lift, reducing thrust needs and supporting stable re-entry. Landing gear is optimized for recovery, cutting weight by removing takeoff-specific structures. Built for rapid operations, Radian 1 aims for up to 100 flights per vehicle, with a 48-hour turnaround and 90-minute readiness, operating from any 10,000-foot runway. It can carry around 2,270 kilograms to orbit and return with roughly 4,540 kilograms, serving both crew and cargo missions, in-orbit servicing, and high-speed global delivery. Recent taxi tests in Abu Dhabi with the PFV-01 prototype validated its control systems and aerodynamics, marking a major step toward full-scale flights. Radian 1 could redefine sustainable, routine, and scalable orbital transportation. Atmos Phoenix Capsule The Atmos Phoenix Capsule offers a revolutionary way to return cargo from orbit, utilizing an innovative inflatable heat shield instead of heavy, rigid ablative shields. This torus-shaped barrier deploys in space, expanding with gas and using atmospheric pressure to withstand re-entry heat and deceleration. The Phoenix 1 prototype can carry up to 100 kilograms of payload, such as biological samples or radiation detectors, into low Earth orbit, remain in space for extended periods, and return via a controlled splashdown without parachutes. Its maiden mission successfully validated shield deployment, data transmission, and payload operations, even though recovery was not attempted. Building on this achievement, Atmos is developing Phoenix 2, equipped with a Hinox propulsion system for guided re-entry and precise landing zones. This technology promises rapid, cost-efficient, and reusable down-mass services for sensitive experiments, microgravity manufacturing, and orbital hardware return. By merging simplicity with cutting-edge engineering, Phoenix could transform how payloads travel back from space, bridging orbit and Earth with speed and reliability. Blue Origin New Glenn Blue Origin's New Glenn is a towering heavy-lift launch vehicle engineered for large payload delivery and repeated use in orbital missions. Standing over 95 meters, it uses a two-stage design with a reusable first stage powered by seven B4 engines burning liquefied natural gas and liquid oxygen, delivering over 3.8 million pounds of thrust. Capable of 25-plus missions, the booster lands vertically on Jacqueline using strakes, fins, and landing legs. Its second stage, with two restartable BE-3U hydrogen engines, provides efficient orbital insertion for complex missions. A spacious 7-meter payload fairing, one of the largest in service, accommodates around 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit or 13 tons to geostationary transfer orbit. This makes New Glenn ideal for satellite constellations, lunar transport, and future crewed flights. 
Its maiden launch successfully carried the Blue Ring Pathfinder to orbit, proving its capability. By merging clean propulsion, reusability, and high payload capacity, New Glenn is poised to transform next-generation space access. SpaceX Polaris Dawn The Polaris Dawn mission represented a major leap for commercial space travel, uniting an enhanced Crew Dragon spacecraft, next-generation EVA gear, and laser-enabled Starlink connectivity. The mission soared to nearly 1,400 kilometers higher than any crewed Earth orbit since Apollo, opening opportunities for long-duration research in deep space conditions. From this vantage point, the crew carried out biomedical studies on radiation effects, decompression risks, ocular health, and venous gas emboli, with input from over 30 research institutions. The mission also achieved the first commercial spacewalk, using new SpaceX EVA suits made with fire-resistant stretch fabrics, integrated thermal control, and a custom 3D printed helmet. Without an airlock, the Dragon capsule was fully depressurized, and astronauts partially exited using a Skywalker ladder, reviving bold early era EVA methods. It showcased Starlink's fast, low latency laser links for future Moon and Mars missions. As the opening chapter of the Polaris program, it set new performance and research milestones, advancing commercial space toward humanity's next great leap. Vast. Vast, founded by Jed McCaleb, is developing private space stations to reshape life in low Earth orbit. Its first module, Haven 1, will host up to four astronauts for 30-day missions, featuring Crew Dragon docking, Wi-Fi, 1,000 watts of power, payload slots, a panoramic domed window, and an innovative sleep system. Designed as a microgravity lab, it blends comfort with functionality for scientific and commercial work. The long-term vision includes Haven 2, a larger modular station with robotic arms, EVA airlocks, and expanded living space, aligning with NASA's commercial LEO destinations program. VAST's purchase of Launcher brings in space tug and propulsion capabilities, speeding up the creation of orbital infrastructure and enabling subsystem trials through its orbiter platform. Haven 1 will launch on SpaceX's Falcon 9, with crews flying via VAST's VAST 1 program. By merging modular design, advanced logistics, and human-focused interiors, VAST aims to create sustainable, scalable habitats pioneering a new era of commercial space living. Starship Mission Mars SpaceX's Starship is a fully reusable, stainless steel super heavy lift spacecraft designed for missions to Mars and beyond. Powered by methane and oxygen Raptor engines with full-flow staged combustion, it delivers high efficiency and deep reusability. The stainless steel hull offers strength, low-cost manufacturing, and thermal resilience for repeated interplanetary journeys. A standout feature is in-orbit refueling, where Starship is topped up by tanker variants before departing for Mars. Upon arrival, it can employ in-situ resource utilization, producing methane and oxygen from Martian CO2 and water via the Sabatier reaction, fueling return trips or extended operations. With a payload capacity of up to 100 tons, Starship can carry crew, cargo, or habitats in a single launch. Ground tests are advancing rapid reuse systems, including the Mechazilla Tower Catch. SpaceX targets its first uncrewed Mars mission by 2026, potentially carrying humanoid robots with crewed missions to follow. This integrated launch, refuel, and return strategy positions Starship as a transformative gateway to sustainable space exploration. Orbit Space Rider The European Space Agency's Pride program is developing Space Rider, a reusable and uncrewed robotic space plane designed for orbital missions. Evolving from the IXV demonstrator, it serves as an operational orbital laboratory capable of returning payloads safely to Earth. Launched atop the Vega C rocket, its Avium Plus service module manages orbital maneuvers, power, and controlled re entry. The re entry module lands with precision using a parafoil, achieving recovery within hundreds of meters of the target site. Space Rider accommodates 600 to 800 kilograms of payload in a one, 200 liter thermally controlled bay, providing 600 watt of power for missions lasting up to two months. It can be used for microgravity experiments, earth monitoring, and testing new technologies. Designed for at least five reuses with minimal refurbishment, it also enables satellite deployment and proximity operations in orbit. Combining autonomy, precision recovery, and reusability, Space Rider offers Europe a cost-effective, flexible platform for commercial research, in-orbit servicing, and repeatable scientific experimentation in low earth orbit. Zafalto Celeste. The Celeste capsule by French aerospace company Zafalto offers a serene ascent to the stratosphere aboard a low-carbon helium balloon. Rising at about 4 meters per second, 
It reaches 25 kilometers altitude, where travelers can admire Earth's curvature and the blackness of space. Its reflective shell blends with the sky, while the 20 square meters cabin offers three suites, soft lighting, and three meter windows with 1,400 kilometers views. Guests enjoy a three hour float above 98% of the atmosphere, Michelin level dining, Wi Fi, and a carefully curated sensory experience. Drawing on more than 60 years of CNE stratospheric balloon expertise, Celeste employs a reusable envelope that keeps emissions below 27 kilograms of CO2 per guest, roughly equal to those from a brief car journey. This fusion of aerospace engineering, luxury design and sustainability transforms near space travel into an artful encounter with our planet, offering both an intimate adventure and a striking reminder of Earth's beauty and fragility. NASA Habitable Solar System The habitable zone is the orbital range around a star where liquid water could persist on a planet's surface a key factor for life. In our solar system, this zone lies between the orbits of Venus and Mars, with Earth comfortably within it. Venus and Mars sit near the zone's edges, making them less favorable for life today. Our solar system resides in the Milky Way's Orion Arm, a smaller spiral segment between the Sagittarius and Perseus arms. Orbiting the galaxy's center at about 515,000 miles per hour, it takes roughly 230 million years to complete a single revolution. NASA's habitability research extends beyond Earth, exploring icy moons like Europa and Enceladus for subsurface oceans. Future missions, including the Habitable Worlds Observatory, will search for Earth-like exoplanets and atmospheric biosignatures. By combining planetary science, astrobiology, and next-generation telescopes, scientists aim to identify environments, both nearby and across the galaxy, where conditions could sustain life, deepening our understanding of habitable worlds. Virgin Galactic Virgin Galactic is leading commercial suborbital space travel with its reusable Spaceship 2 and next-generation Delta-class vehicles. The system uses an air launch method, with the White Knight 2 mothership carrying the spacecraft to high altitude before rocket-powered ascent. A hybrid motor, combining solid fuel and liquid oxidizer, offers control and simplicity, with only the fuel cartridge replaced after flights. The cabin seats six passengers in reclinable chairs beside large panoramic windows designed for comfort, safety, and unobstructed views. In microgravity, the interior becomes a zero-G play space, with foam-padded window edges and adaptable seating. The Delta class is engineered for rapid turnaround, targeting weekly flights through modular design and lightweight composite structures. Collaborations with Redwire and Corbin Aerospace support research, payload integration and advanced manufacturing. By combining reusability, innovative launch architecture, and a luxury passenger experience, Virgin Galactic aims to make suborbital spaceflight more accessible ushering in a new era of frequent premium journeys beyond Earth's atmosphere. NASA Orion Spacecraft NASA's Orion spacecraft is a partially reusable, crew-rated vehicle built for missions beyond low Earth orbit. It consists of a crew module by Lockheed Martin, housing astronauts and a European service module by Airbus and the European Space Agency, which supplies propulsion, power from solar arrays, thermal control, and vital life support resources. Orion's guidance, navigation, and control system integrate star trackers, optical navigation cameras, sun sensors, and GPS to manage flight operations from docking to re-entry. Communications rely on phased array antennas connected to NASA's deep space network, with backup emergency radios for redundancy. Safety is central to Orion's design. An Avcoat heat shield protects during high-speed re-entry, the launch abort system enables rapid crew escape in emergencies, and a multi-parachute system ensures controlled splashdowns. Designed for resilience and versatility, Orion will play a key role in returning humans to the moon through Artemis missions and paving the way for deep space exploration to Mars and beyond, bridging advanced engineering with mission-critical safety. Rocket Lab Neutron Rocket Rocket Lab's Neutron is a medium-class rocket designed for fast turnaround and economical operations through reusable technology. Built entirely from lightweight carbon composite materials using automated fiber placement, it combines high strength with streamlined production. The rocket is powered by Archimedes engines burning liquid oxygen and methane in an oxidizer-rich staged combustion cycle. Its first stage uses nine engines for liftoff, while a vacuum-optimized variant powers the second stage for orbital missions. The fixed hungry hippo fairing opens for payload release and closes for recovery, speeding turnaround. Neutron can land on its own legs at the launch site or on the sea-based platform Return on Investment. With capacity to carry up to 13,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit, it supports satellite constellations, cargo transport, and future crewed flights. 
already awarded contracts by NASA and the US Space Force, Neutron is positioned to become a vital asset in space transportation and exploration. Sierra Space Dream Chaser Sierra Space's Dream Chaser is a reusable lifting body space plane designed for cargo and future crewed missions to low Earth orbit. Based on NASA's HL-20 design, it launches atop a Vulcan Centaur rocket and returns via runway landing, enabling gentle approximately 1.5G re-entry and rapid refurbishment. Paired with the Shooting Star cargo module, it can deliver both pressurized and unpressurized payloads. The expendable module burns up during re-entry, while the spaceplane is reused for up to 15 flights. Dream Chaser features folding wings for compact stowage in a rocket fairing and deployment in orbit, allowing compatibility with multiple launch vehicles. It can transport about 5,500 kilograms to orbit and return up to approximately 1,850 kilograms, ideal for sensitive experiments and urgent cargo. Extensive ground tests, including vibration and thermal vacuum evaluations, have confirmed its readiness. The upcoming SSC Demo-1 mission, using the Tenacity vehicle, will demonstrate its capabilities in resupplying the International Space Station, marking a new era in flexible, sustainable space logistics.